Welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back uh, with another, uh, another show. We're going to get into Errol Spence. Um, had a 40-minute phone conversation with Terrence Crawford today. When I was a kid, growing up in the 90s, fighters used to fight each other. But that's like so 90s now, and we don't do that anymore. Now we have 40-minute phone conversations with each other. Well, I don't know who's going to pay for the first date, but that's a good start. Um, but before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Uh, quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, all right, let's let's get into today's show okay um and I, i'm using these two there are other names because I, I i think these are the two uh with the highest ceilings who gave away their primes um who could have been all-time greats but just don't fight um jamal charlo errol spence jamal charlo are not active fighters they're not um if i if i told you uh if somebody hasn't fought in um 23 months, would that be an active fighter? The answer would be no. That is not an active fighter. If I told you someone hasn't uh, fought, let's say someone fought, um, then didn't fight for 14 months, then fought, then fought, uh, someone fought, then didn't fight for 14 months, then fought, then took 16 more months off then fought, and now has been inactive for 13 months and has nothing on the docket. Is that an active fighter? That is most certainly not an active fighter. Those two guys I told you are Jamal Charlo and Errol Spence. Those aren't active fighters. It, 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 look, look, check it out, though. That Sean Porter fight, um, great win. I, I, I think, personally, um, Spence is best win. That was September of 2019. 2019, I think he had a strong case for fighter of the year. He beat Mikey Garcia in March. He beat Sean Porter in, in September. That Sean Porter fight is approaching four years ago. It is approaching four years ago. <clears throat> you know how many times he's fought since that Sean Porter fight? Twice. Okay, he fought Porter in September of 19, then fought Danny Garcia in December of 2020. Okay, 15 months off, then fought uh, Udonis Ugas, Udonis Ugas in April of 2022. So he didn't fight at all in 2021, fought once in 2022. So fought once in 2020, didn't fight at all in 2021, fought once in 2022, has not fought in 2023, has nothing on a docket. That's not an active fighter. That, that Sean Porter fight's approaching four years ago. He's fought twice in four years. Keith Thurman is another one. Usyk fights once a year. Terrence Crawford fights once a year. We used to destroy Gary Russell Jr., who I think is one of the most talented fighters of his era, for fighting once a year. That is the new standard. That is the new norm. You fight once a year. Tops. Like I said, Charlo doesn't fight once a year. Spence doesn't fight once a year. There are guys now who don't fight even once a year. You can't call yourself an active fighter. So it's time to treat Errol Spence and Jamal Charlo and others as guys who just aren't active. The, the, the IBF, WBA, WBC should strip uh, Spence of his belts 
and the WBC Charlo, Jamal Charlo of his belt. They're holding up a division. We, we could have great fights, Virgil Ortiz, Bucci, we could get these fights. But Spence, who hasn't defended his belt in 13 months and has nothing on the docket, but had a 40 minute phone call with his new girlfriend, um, is, gets the whole of all, gets the whole of the entire division, right? Crawford fights once a year. Spence fights every 16 months. And they hold all the belts. So it just holds up the division. Strip them. Strip them of their belts. It's, it, it's not even give them a deadline anymore. Um, They don't want to defend their belts. That's fine. And like, I'm not trying to get PBC guys a hard life. These are my boys. The reason why I, I, I use these are because they're two of my favorite fighters. They're both on the wall. I think these guys are extremely talented. I think... If they would have stayed active, they could be all-time great fighters. All-time great fighters. Jamal Charlo emerged at 154 like a beast. We said this guy go 154, 160, 160, and just keep winning world titles. What's his best win? Derevchenko, right? His best win is Sergey Derevchenko. Am I wrong? Since the end of 2019, just like Errol Spence, he's fought twice. He fought once in 2020. He fought Sergey Derevchenko. Then he fought once in 2021 and fought Monty Allen Houston. That's it. That's who he's fought in the last four years, bro. If you fight twice in four years, you're not an active fighter. You go through. Let, let, let's go through Jamal Charles' resume. Ready? Montiel, Derevchenko, Dennis Hogan, Brendan Adams, Korobov, Santonio Jr., Highland. That's who he's beaten the last six years. At Julian Williams, Austin Trout wins. Those wins at 154 came in 2016. He's been at. 160 since 2017. That's six years. That's his resume. He's what seven times in six years and hasn't fought nearly two. You know, it used to be guys were on the two fight model. Then for a very short time, they were on a one fight a year model. Now they fight every 14 months, every 16 months. They fight less than once a year. I don't know what to make of this. You're not an active fighter, so you need to be, you, they need to be stripped. They need to have their belt taken, placed on an active. You can have them champion emeritus, whatever. Take those belts from them. Let's get let's get the divisions rolling. It's a, it, look. You, you take 14, 16 months off in between fights. You're not an active fighter. You're a part time fighter. It's fine. That's your choice. You know, I don't. Maybe these guys don't like to make money, right? Maybe making too much money, they, they, they lose their hunger, so they only want to fight once a year or once every year and a half. I, I don't know, but they, they don't fight, right? Like actually getting in the ring and fighting. That's like so, like 1990s. They don't do that anymore. Now I have a 40 minute phone conversation with Terrence Crawford. What do they think they talked about? Like how pretty they are. This is news. Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence had a 40-minute phone call. Keith Thurman, where is he? Look, in 2017, I guess it was, we had great news. We had Terrence Crawford, right, going to, from 40 to 47. That meant all in the prime, all in their prime. Crawford, Spence, uh, and Thurman. Crawford, Spence, and Thurman. Thurman, Spencer, Spencer, and Croft, Crawford. All in the division. All, right? All in the same division. All at the same time. All in their prime. Same division, same time, all in their prime. Spence, Crawford, Thurman. Three guys with all world talent. Special, elite, A plus level talent. Six years later. No permutation of those three guys have gotten the ring with each other. That is unbelievable. And most of the reason, most of that reason, 
is the guys just don't fight. Crawford fights once a year. He fought once in 2020, once in 2021, once in 2022. That's it. Right? That's it. He fights once a year. And he'll fight once this year. Look, this year is already almost half over. A third of the way over. More than a third of the way over. And Crawford doesn't even have a fight on the dock. But he had a 40-minute conversation. Keith Thurman. I mean, I, I've been over this so many times. I, Keith Thurman, his career is... I, I think Thurman was all-world. Like, Keith Thurman, one-time Keith Thurman coming up. The one that beat Colazzo, beat Garcia, right? Beat uh, Danny Garcia, beat Sean Porter. That guy was unique. Since 2020, since the end of 2019, he's fought once. I mean, he fought once 15 months ago. In four years, he's fought one time. Nothing on the docket. You know, since the end of 2015, so for seven years, he's fought one, two, three, four, five times. So the prime of his career, he's fought five times. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. These guys aren't active fighters. Usyk fights once a year. Yeah, you know, I'm not trying to make it a PBC thing. I, I, I'm not. I, I said Crawford. I, I said Usyk. Um, you know, I have Usyk number one pound for pound. He, him and Crawford do enough. They fight once a year to stay on the list. I, I wish they fought more than once a year. They don't, right? Like, we look at Usyk, same thing. He fought once in 2019, once in 2020, once in 2021, once in 2022. That's all he fights. It's once a year. And these are the best names in the sport, guys, and they don't even get in a ring. They don't even fight. Forget fighting good opposition. They don't fight at all. But once a year, tops. Most of them fight less than once a year, less than once every 12 months. It's the state of the sport right now. It's not in great shape, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. It is May 7th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.